Jefferson. The Sioux Falls City Council took one step closer to a pair of changes tonight that look to cut down on nuisance behavior in the downtown area. Both considerations coming from ordinance changes that are proposed by the chief of the Sioux Falls Police Department. John Gaskin spoke with the chief one on one, then covered that meeting, and he joins us now to explain. John. Andrea, six weeks ago, Mayor Paul Ten Hankin and Police Chief John Toom held a press conference to discuss panhandling and nuisance behavior downtown, particularly from homeless people and with a focus on their alcohol use. Toom said the growing number of complaints and calls dealing with this had dominated his summer. Well, tonight, Toom presented a change to the city's ordinance on disorderly conduct, which had not been updated in over 30 years. He called it a tweak to make the language of the ordinance match the state's disorderly conduct laws. He said it is not a dramatic move and it is not law enforcement's aim to criminalize or create new charges, but to make sure the officers can take the steps they need to take so when the public reports an issue, the police have the power and the authority in the language to do what they need to do and do it quicker. This change would remove what Toom called the burden of officers to give a warning. They could just go into enforcement action, which in most cases of disorderly conduct is merely issuing a citation, not making an arrest. Um, I think where this language cleanup comes into play in particular is so many of the, the issues we have with just creating a safe pedestrian traffic environment, and that's on the roads as well. It's reasonable that the sidewalks are for the moving, uh, movement of people throughout the commercial district or the residential district. And this allows us to proactively say, hey, yeah, we can't obstruct the sidewalk. Toom told me after the meeting that the most important result of this ordinance change is officers can more quickly diffuse incidents involving transient panhandling and after bar closed noise issues, particularly downtown. Those can go hand in hand. The motion to take this ordinance change to a second reading on October 2nd passed six 